what else would you rather be doing than uh, be out here on the open water uh, learning about oceanography and sailing? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, watch it, yeah. SEA have formed an affiliation and so we had an opportunity to bring students out here for a really whirlwind day-long trip where they could get a taste of what it's like on the SEA campus and see Woods Hole and then come out and actually be on one of their oceanographic vessels and uh, get a chance to see some of the things they'd learn if they took classes here. I think it's a really great opportunity for our students at SUNY ESF. Um, we have a lot of uh, emphasis at ESF in hands-on experiential learning. We tend to teach classes where we, in, we take students and we put them into situations where they're in the environment, they get hands-on experience, they learn practical skills, they learn basic science, and they learn how to apply it. Um, and that's exactly the kinds of programs that the Education Association is known for in marine science. And since Syracuse is so far from the coast, um, we offer occasional marine classes that uh, are taught on campus. And then we also offer classes um, that go away for several weeks at a time. But we can't really offer routinely hands-on oceanography classes in the open water. And SEA has a number of really excellent programs where they teach students the same way we're teaching on campus, but at sea and at wood Hole, one of the foremost centers of oceanographic research. So it's a great match with programs on campus already, the kinds of things our students come to ESF for. <laughs> a collection of programs for their marine environmental studies programs for students from all disciplines and uh, they are 12 week programs 12 week semester programs with half the time on our campus in Woods Hole and then half the time on one of our sailing research vessels that we're aboard today. My name is David. Hey, I'm sailing as captain today and uh, you can identify the crew pretty easily wearing these handsome blue shirts. It's a chance for students to apply what they've learned in the classroom. So they start with the academic learning in the classroom and then they come to see and get to practice what they've learned and conduct oceanographic research firsthand um, and also learn about the cultures that were in the locations in which we're visiting and, and, and people that live in those places. Yeah. Um, I must say my favorite part was going on up to the crow's nest. It was scary. I didn't think it was going to be that scary, but it was a lot of fun. And I also enjoyed going and tying the sails down as we came back to port. Since I'm short, I really had to reach my legs up. But, and as I was going up and looking down, I was like, oh, it's getting steeper and steeper. But it was so worth it. The view is out of this world. We got to go out in the sailboat and see how an uh, oceanographic vessel works, so I had a great time. My favorite experience is going aloft on the mast and being able to look at it all over the boat. It's a whole new perspective on it. I had no idea what working on a boat is like and what that lifestyle would be. So t today I kind of got a, an idea of what that would be and um, I'm considering it, you know. 
mind little gelatinous things. They look a lot like those tina pores in the glass jar there. And they they eat the inside and then they go and they live in the inside of this of this gelatinous casing. So because of the environmental focus of SUNY ESF, uh, all of our programs seem to match well with the with the pro, with the majors that are offered at ESF, and so ESF students can easily find something that will tie nicely to what they're studying back at, at their home campus. And then it washes out to sea. You get plastic pieces, so just little fragments of plastic. Most of the time, the plastic we get is smaller than smaller than the eraser on the pencil. I enjoyed absolutely everything. Um, my favorite part was looking at uh, the lab specimens that we collected on the ship and also on um, being able to go up into the bow net and uh, looking over like the whole entire ocean. That was really, really awesome. I think the fact that we got to actually use the scientific tools while we were on there and they let us do uh, plankton toes and uh, substrate grabs and that type of thing, we got to look at what we got. That was really, really cool. Sea Education Association or Sea Semester offers, offers students the opportunity to do independent research in oceanography, policy, history, or culture, um, and offers those opportunities that, that may not be available on a home campus to the, to the extent um, that, that they are at SEA. The students are developing their projects from the beginning creating their own, designing their own hypotheses, creating their projects, and taking it from the first step all the way to the end um, and producing a final product. And so, um, yeah, if you look closely, it's got a really fine mesh. It's 333 microns. Uh, so anything larger than that will get collected. And then on the end here, we've got what's called the cod end. Uh, so it's basically just a jar. I enjoyed just being more hands-on and active out there. I thought it was really cool that they let us do some of the things that you can experience even if you're not going to the semester here or if you were just going to a different place and trying it out. I thought that was really cool. And seeing the science behind it, that was very interesting. I know that they did a lot of like sampling and stuff. I thought it was just like sailing around like so it was pretty cool. Stand by for zero. Your hands out. Zero. So imagine getting one of these from 500 meters. Be a little bit more anticipation, wondering whether it actually worked <laughs> and uh, seeing what you got. Um, it, it really helps students sort of learn about themselves and learn how to work together. There's a real leadership component to the program. So sailing is a great way to teach people to work together, um, learn how to be effective leaders, and also learn how to be effective team players um, in helping to uh, complete missions and the, the mission of our vessels is a scientific mission while we're off sailing and so being able to help make that science happen everybody needs to work together to make that happen. We, we teach you everything that you need to learn while you're here. Well I came in with no expectations and so I mean we learned a lot about like what they do on the boat, how they do it and um, like how they live which was really interesting. So enjoyed how hands-on it was and how we were able to like not only learn the science that was being done on the boat but how to operate the boat so I thought it was cool that we were learning how to like um, pull the sails up and we learned how to climb the mast and we got to tie the sails down and like kind of the mechanics behind the boat because we learned science so much that it was like a nice kind of change of pace I would definitely recommend it I'm actually even thinking about going on for a sea semester I was inspired so much from going today um, you're gonna actually gonna ease it a little bit
I would recommend it to a lot of people.